Hi, welcome back to the channel. We are going to be doing Bandit level 5 through to 9. If you haven't seen the last video, link will be in the description, card will be on the screen. Go check that out. Up on the screen we've got the level itself and we've got a VM running Kali or Kali Lin and we've got the last flag from previous room. So I've just switched over our Bandit user over to Bandit 4 and we've logged in with the password. Control L, clear the screen, see what level 5 entails for us. So we've got level goal. The password for this next level is stored in the only human readable file in the in here directory. Tip, if your terminal is messed up, try the reset command. I believe Control L reset do the same thing well they might not i'm not really sure commands we're gonna need lscd cat file find so cool let's let's uh let's dig into our level here same with our ls so we've got our in here directory so let's uh cd over into it all right so it looks like we've got a few files here so let's run ls l which will give us a list out and see if we can find anything interesting. It seems that all of our files, zero through nine, 10 in total, all the same permissions, looks like the same byte size. Now we could go one by one. Let's just try that, right? If we just cut out this first file and we get this jargon. So this is, this is the problem, right? Yeah, we don't even need to use find, right? We can just cut out each file and we can go one by one. Um, or we could just use a wild card, like an asterisk, and just cat everything out. But I think we need to just specify that we want to cat out everything here. So that's just going to list out all the directories of each of the file. So this is the flag which has come through from one of the files. I don't even know which file it is. I think it's seven, but uh, yeah, that's one way to do it. And that sort of makes me think that there's just multiple ways. I'm pretty sure this is not how I've solved this level before. I'm going off memory, but I'm guessing. I think this is seven, like eight, and nine. Let's just try. Um, so it's actually good that I, I did that because I was gonna copy this whole thing, um, but this first MT is not part of the flag. So is that cool? Gonna copy that. Gonna run the exit command and uh, up arrow, and we'll just go over to following user, checking that password. So now we are on to level six. Level six. The password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory, and has all of the following properties: human readable, 103, uh, 1033 bytes in size, not executable this is this is definitely where we're going to need to use that find command uh so let's just ls go here um if you do two um ampersand um we can combine so that'll change into the directory once it's in there it'll list everything out so i guess this is now the the trick is how do we how do we go through all of these files so if we um list out the contents of uh, just the first one there we've got yeah file 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 spaces file spaces and files so uh, like it's gonna take a long time to uh, go through these directories one by one so they've given us some information on um how we can uh we can do that so i'm gonna search once i've gone man find i'm gonna hit the forward slash and I'm gonna type in, okay, no pattern found on that. Let's just try size. Cool, so we can use the dash size switch and specify the bytes we wanna use. So that's something that we've got here is the 103 bytes. So we need to find a file that matches that. Cool, so we can just try running find specifying that we wanna do it in this current folder. And we can just use the size flag for the find command and just specify the size 1033 found with c so we can run that and we can find this one right here which we can get out and we can find our flag which is nice exit out head over to the next level paste in that flag and we'll move on to level seven all right the password for the next level is stored somewhere on the server and has all the following properties owned by user owned by the group and 33 bytes in size so we'll uh use the find command again for this since we had a uh good luck with that the difference here is, is it's somewhere on the server so if we just like run ls we've uh 
we've got an empty um, or practically empty besides our log files so the thing is now learning our like file so if we ls um, forward slash which uh, this just represents the root folder being the topmost um, folder so this is these are all the directories within our file system so right now we're in our home file folder uh, which is also represented by the tilde so if you're ever lost you can just always change directories home and that'll take you back here our home is inside our home directory uh, which we can see here uh, are all of our users so we've been going from one user to the next so it's somewhere hidden within well, anywhere. So our find command that we were running, we can run find from that root directory. Um, so it'll then go through all these directories and all the directories underneath them. So the difference here is we need to search by the user. So the bandit seven is the user who owns it and it's in the group. So we could we could try do the size again, like the last one, we could just go size 33C um, for bytes. Uh, but that does match a lot. So, I mean, we could manually, um, you know, have a guess and try and like, cat a few of these out. Uh, we could find it that way. What I think might be a bit more useful is if we look up the man page and we search for, okay, I just search for group. I couldn't find the user, but we can use the dash group and then the group name. So the file belongs to the group name. So numeric group ID allowed. So we don't have to use the ID. We can just use group name so let's quit that we'll uh, hit up a couple of times and we'll just go dash group and then we'll type in bandit six and see how we go so still yeah so just a quick check for sanity it is the dash user and we put the username in files belong to the user that's what i was that's what i thought i guess it's in the list now there is a way to get rid of all these permission denied because i think we can redirect that cool so when we run the user command um, or the user flag to find it, the, the issue is we get all of these permission denied errors so what we can actually do um, just looking this up because I totally forgot but if we redirect the standard error and that's represented by the number two using our greater than or less than symbol and then just go to like a random place like dev null which is just like just get rid of it all of the other permission denied errors which are considered errors which of this catches we'll just go and throw them out and then we're left so uh, let's cap this out I'm gonna uh, save this. I'm gonna log into the next level, check on the password there, and we got it. So yeah, onto level eight. The password for the next level is stored in the file data.txt next to the word million. Commands you may need to solve this level. So it's getting a, getting a bit harder. So we're searching for a file called data.txt, which is next to the word million. Now I've done these levels and I do not remember. So let's, let's go back to this find function and we can find everything in the root. So we know how to use that. The next thing that I saw with the find was we have a dash name, so we can specify a data.txt. So let's try that. Um, let's just go control L and just do that trick to uh, get rid of any of our permission errors that we can't see. And we're left with a few files here. Uh, we could manually go through it. It's not that many, but you know, I'm trying not to form those bad habits. Somehow we need to now take this list and uh, find, find a word million in there. So what we can do is we can start combining this command and we can start using something like grep. Now grep is how we can search through files and look at the data and it's trying to find patterns within data. So it's it's a list it's sort of like listing out the contents and then like hitting control F and you know searching a query. It's sort of like that, but just like super more powerful. Yeah, so what we can do is we can start combining commands. So this command, which is going to find those files, we can use the pipe symbol and it's going to then take the results of this command and push it through or connect it or chain it together to the next command. So we could then send them through and just cat all of that out and that's going to find you know all these different i guess you know they've done this on purpose words next to just random strings so there's a lot there so i'm gonna hit control c so instead of just catting that out which we're not going to find we could then you know 
grep each of those files. But the trick here is we just need to grep with, with million. We just need to find million. Now, I'm just gonna take a stab here because I could use grep in a while. So I'm just gonna use millionth in the yeah okay so no luck so let's look up the man page and have a bit of a read of what we can do with grep so i think we're missing the dash e patterns find a pattern so i think that this still might not work um because the outputs of this are simply the text files like the names of the files i think we still need to actually cat out the results and then pipe that through to grep i hope this is making sense Right, find these files, ignore all the other permission errors, we just want to find anything that has the data.txt. Once you find those, can you cat out each of those files? And then lastly, can you search through those files with the pattern that matches millions? I hope that that works. Hey, cool. <laughs> I mean, we found one, right? So I'm, I'm guessing that this is it. So let's hit exit. And we'll uh, we'll go over and let's see if we uh, we get in. All right. <laughs> Hi. Uh, sorry to interrupt the video again. This is Future Ash. Uh, just now, my microphone drops out, and I've lost the end of the audio for the rest of the video, which sort of makes my heart break just a little bit. So I'm going to attempt to record over the video and uh, give you a the best <laughs> experience you could get. Uh, so I hope this is all right. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on with my uh, audio software. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, so I'm gonna do my best to uh, voice over this. We're gonna look at our commands for our next level. Uh, the base 64 to bzip2, those are like compression software uh, to, to compress files and stuff. So we don't need to worry about those just now. What we are gonna focus on is the uh, grep sort unique uh, that's sort of what we need for this one okay so gonna have a look at the piping and redirection and i'm going to explain again what this is so standard error is what we've been using already represented by the two but your standard in which is us the user using our keyboard standard in zero so that goes through the program so like when we have ls or like you know, us typing ls is then the standard in going to that program, which then gives us the standard out of just listing out the contents. And then if there are any errors within that um, process, that'll also be listed out. And hence where we can start redirecting our files, which is what we've actually been doing. So we've already been doing a little bit of this. So a uh, pat on the back for you and for I, go us. So I guess I keep scrolling around a little bit. All right, no, 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 come on. Let's go back, let's go back. What am I doing? Yeah, sort, unique. Why am I taking so long? Just get into it. Is this what all my videos are like? This is such a weird experience. Just hurry up, stop talking. Get into the video. All right, here we go. Control L. Uh, yep. What am I even talking about? I don't even remember. All right, here we go, find, thank you. All right, find. Yep, we're gonna use the root directory, uh, which is represented by the forward slash. You can use the name flag again, and we've tried the data.txt. So we're trying to find a data.txt um, like our goal. So we're gonna get rid of those permission uh, denied errors by uh, redirecting like we just learned. And then we have our list again. Cool, cool, cool. So this is all pretty familiar. We're gonna do that. We're gonna pipe it through cat. So we're gonna cat out all the files. But the tricky thing here is we need to now get the only line of text that occurs only once out of all these files. So that's the tricky thing, uh, and that's where our other commands are gonna come into play. Okay, I I've skipped ahead, because this is, this is actually so hard <laughs> recording what, uh, what I'm doing over the top of what I did. It's really tricky. So basically, in the end, you need to cat out your results, pipe it through sort, which will put it in order, and then pipe it through unique with the dash U, which will find the unique lines, and then you've got it. So the only things that I've skipped over, I, I, I feel bad because I haven't given you like the full video, so again, I'm sorry about that, but yeah, just technical issues. All I did was a little bit of Googling and just like more waffling. Man, I waffle a lot. <laughs> 
this is such a retrospective eye-opening video. Uh, but yeah, that I, that's it. Let me uh, let me finish there. So sorry for um for the the, the weird ending to the video, but hey. The, that's just what it is. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this far. Let me waffle a little bit more. If you haven't already clicked away, I appreciate you for uh, being in this video for this long. And uh, I really do. Thank you for the nice comments that I've been getting. It's very uplifting. It's very encouraging. If you have any feedback for me, please let me know. I'm, I'm trying to improve and I hope that you watching these videos, it's helping you improve a little and we can all, you know, we can all improve together. It's all nice. Kumbaya. Campfire stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this video. I need to wrap this up. Have a great day. Uh, thanks again for everything. Let me know your thoughts. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, generic YouTube stuff. Okay, bye. <laughs> See you in the next one.